ion grenade. Why in the world does Salsa Diaz always run around with an ion grenade? What is this card? Let's see, an ion grenade that delivers massive damage against vehicles, shields, and droids. That's it? Are you kidding me? What makes this card so special? You know what, I'll tell you. I made a top 10 list of things you could do with an ion grenade. Starting at the bottom, number 10, injure yourself. The ion grenade will inflict 45 damage to your health. So be careful if you happen to be wall watching in third person. You need to make sure that your ion grenade doesn't hit the wall right in front of your face. Number nine, kill yourself. If you can injure yourself with an ion grenade, well then it stands to reason that you can also kill yourself. It comes in handy if you don't want the enemy to get the kill, if you know what I mean. Number eight, damage an enemy vehicle. There are a number of ways to damage those pesky ATSTs or the low flying snow spears. Just keep in mind that the ion grenade is one of them. Number seven, destroy environmental hazards. So if you see an enemy taking cover behind one of these, you'll get bonus damage on top of the already 45 damage you'll be inflicting with just the ion grenade by itself. And number six, break windows. Why would you want to break windows? Simple. It turns a boring three lane map into a disorganized cacophony of chaos. It's also good for helping you take alternative escape routes. Number five, destroy a squad shield. I think squad shields must give out free bacon because every time a squad shield gets deployed, all the players love to go hang out inside. Number four, destroy enemy equipment. Don't be that guy who lets an enemy infantry turret or a droid just sit there destroying your team. Take it out so we can all move on to shooting biological targets. Number three, destroy an enemy personal shield. Personal shields can easily turn a game around when playing drop zone, cargo, or droid run. Don't let these masters of cheese get away with it. Number two, injure an enemy. Like I said before, 45 damage. That's a good way to soften up a tough enemy or a group of enemies before jumping in for the kill. And finally, the number one thing you can do with an ion grenade. Kill an injured enemy. It's satisfying and it's trollific. Why waste your time chasing down that guy hiding in cover if you can be moving on to the next target? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Perhaps you'll reconsider using an ion grenade in one of your loadouts. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Adios.